I'm a sex worker, a gay sex worker, and I'm proud of what I do because I relieve the tensions and stress in other people's lives. Well, I live in the bushveld. I love the bushveld. Why? Because life is at a snail's pace here. You are able to do your wants in whichever way or whatever time. I have no permanent public space to run my services, so I have a virtual office. I Facebook, I tweet, I WhatsApp, phone calls and SMSs. If you contact me, you'll have to be scrutinized as to where and from who did you get my number from. I depend on social media for my sex business to flourish. I am afraid of the police. That's why I cannot go out on the streets. I don't know what I would do if there were no phones and no internet connection. As we all know that sex work is a criminal offence in our country. But what do you do? when there is a demand for a product or service that I am able to provide. Once my client invited me to a braai. At first, I was in shock, but I was happy as this was my first invite from him to his house. He's a wealthy farmer whom I usually service in the bush. Anyway, there I was at the four-way stop in my village, waiting for my client, who enjoys me sexually as much as I enjoy his money. He came through to fetch me, like someone who I am on a date with and going to a bride in his house. But along the way, he asked me to give him oral sex, which I did because he promised to pay me when we got to the house. I made it clear to him that I'm serious in business and he agreed to play by my rules. We got to the house and all his friends were there, already having a good time. What I initially thought was consensual was now non-consensual, as he offered me as a meal to all his friends. I couldn't say no because he promised to call the cops. And if the cops came, I was going to be arrested as what I was selling was illegal in this country. If only there was a law to protect me. As a human being who chose sex work as a way of survival in this poverty-stricken country, it may be immoral but there's a demand for it. Yet it cannot be as immoral as drugs, rape and police brutality.